welcome to the Zero Proof Happy Hour. I'm Donovan, and I'm a recovering alcoholic with almost 22 years of sobriety. And I'm Rachel, and I stopped drinking in my early 20s for health reasons. Wow, this is going to be fun. So we got our first uh, GABA adaptogenic drinks. Yep, this is Parch. They are a Hispanic and female-owned business. Uh, we've got the adaptogens in here. It's 285 milligrams of L-theanine, ashwagandha, and American ginseng. We've got two to try. We've got the Paloma and the Pina Rita. Which one do you want to start with? Let's go with the Paloma. Mm -hmm. I like that it is uh, only 11 grams of sugar for one can and uh, about 70 calories or so. So not, not too much. Wow. It's pretty. Cheers. Yeah. Hmm. It smells really good. So GABA is supposed to be kind of an alcoholic analog and it doesn't have the, the same issues as alcohol, but it supposedly has an effect. It's not sure if it actually gets through to your brain with these things, but either way, exciting. This tastes really good. I like this. It's yeah, nice. it's on the sweet side for me. It's got more sweetness in here than I would normally want for a Paloma. So it has the jicama juice. Yeah. It has blue agave nectar, so that's a low glycemic uh, kind of sugar. Prickly pear juice. I appreciate that they didn't try and be healthy with using erythritol, mm -hmm, monk fruit, mm -hmm. stevia. <laughs> yeah. Those flavors are just too strong. And I know that it's better for you in some ways, but... So this has orange peeled bitters extract as well, so that mm. I can taste that. Yeah, I want it more bitter. Mm. I want to throw in some more bitter. I would, put more, I would more, put more bitter in here for sure. Just to balance that sweetness. It's all the bitter, orange. See if this helps. I do like the grapefruit. I do like the orange. That helps. Yeah. So it just, just a little bit more bitterness in there to balance that sweetness. What if you were to combo it with some soda water? Yeah, to cut that down a little yeah. bit. Just like a little bit of soda water in there would be good. You ready to try the next one? Yeah, I really like this artwork. An ancient ritual for modern drinkers. Mm, it smells different too. I like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That's hmm, that's it. Peanut. It's um, pineapple. Whoa! Very mm. smoky. Mm -hmm. The spiced pina rita has the prickly pear juice, the hibiscus, the chamomile. I mean, cayenne the, pepper puree. Yeah, but I mean, it, it has the roasted pineapple, which is really the first mm, thing I taste. Mm -hmm. That you know, that's got that smokiness from them charring the pineapple. Yeah, and that pineapple hits you right in the face, and then a little bit of spice, not too spicy. It's still too sweet for me. Personally, I would drink it, but yeah, it could absolutely be uh, have a little bit less sugar in there. Mm -hmm. The cocoa extract. Spicy mole bitters, so I'm a big fan of mole. I would definitely have these in my fridge to serve to somebody. They're not that expensive. It's $20 for four. You know, that pineapple really reminds me of barbecued pineapple. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, that's what they, <laughs> they roasted it. Is, it. They roasted it's it. It's just like making me think of a summer barbecue. Yeah, this summer. would definitely work on a summer barbecue. They were saying that when they were developing Parch, they were studying the botanical infusions across Mexico and what else they were drawing inspiration from the Sonoran, the, the desert. Sonoran desert and I mean whatever your inspiration was it's working <laughs> yeah. I'm enjoying okay. it feels like summertime in a glass and I don't think we've had anything with prickly pear juice this seems to be mm -hmm. a pretty common um, ingredient in both of these the fruit of the yeah. desert <laughs> uh, drinkability Drinkability, uh, I think this is an eight from, these are eights for me. Yeah, really eight, like eight them. and a half, so yeah. I'm sure they're really, they're high up there. And you have to order them online, mm. or you can go to the Boisson Bottle Shop in San Francisco if you're local to the Bay Area. They carry this there. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy it online. They're not in BevMo's or Whole Foods yet. Maybe, someday. <laughs> How much did you say they were? $20 for uh, four cans. And I think it actually is worth, <laughs> worth yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. 
I think it's really good. Yeah, we highly recommend this. Definitely give them a try. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to really enjoy them, especially this summer during barbecues. If you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.